Hello friends, my name is Dr. Sunil Bhatt. I am the Director and Clinical Lead of Pediatric Hematology, Oncology and Bone Marrow Transplant at the Narayana Health City, Bangalore. Now, I am going to be talking to you about International Cancer Day, uh, which is observed every year on 28th of May and which is around the corner after a few days. And the theme for this year is close the care gap. And what we actually want uh, through this theme is that every person diagnosed with blood cancer deserves ap appropriate treatment and chance to cure. Being a pediatric hematologist and oncologist, I look after children with blood disorders and cancers and blood cancers in children, what we call as leukemia uh, in medical terminology, is the most common cancer seen in children less than 15 years of age. Hence, it becomes a very, very important um, malignant or a cancerous condition in children which we deal with. So I just want to basically uh, touch upon very few important aspects of childhood cancer, especially leukemias. Number one is that how can we suspect blood cancer in a child? How can you suspect leukemia in a child? So any child, you know, whatever age it is, you know, there is no age limit. Leukemia can happen at any age from newborn period to, you know, 18 years of age till we see this in the pediatric age group. And if any child is having persistent fever without a cause, is having bleeding from any parts of the body, is having spontaneous bruising or blue spots on the body, any lumps in the body, joint pains which is not explainable, or looking pale and tired and fatigued, this is the time that you should go and see your physician and get checked. So this may be a symptom of blood cancer in children. The second question which comes in our mind is that, okay, now, Unfortunately, if a child is diagnosed with leukemia or a blood cancer, because the name itself seems to be quite, you know, scary and dreaded, is there a treatment available? Can we still treat this child and can we cure this child? And the answer to this question is yes. We can cure 70 to 90 percent of leukemias or blood cancers. And how it is possible? It's possible if we identify it early, of course, and give them appropriate, adequate treatment. So my one of the pleas I have is that, you know, if a child is diagnosed with leukemia, please of give them treatment because majority of them can be cured. And I use the word cure and cure forever. It is possible. Now, what are the modalities of treatment? If we have diagnosed, what are the treatment options for children with leukemia? The most important treatment which is given for children is, is chemotherapy. So it's chemotherapy based treatment and it lasts for a few months and Sometimes you have to take tablets for a few years, but the initial intense chemotherapy is for a few months. Some of the children may also require a bone marrow transplant for cure. If they are, you know, what we call as high risk leukemias or the leukemias come back, you may require a bone marrow transplant as well for cure. And if your doctor has prescribed it, you can probably have to require a bone marrow transplant as well. Now the things are changing, world is changing, uh, treatments are evolving and there's something called as immunotherapy and leukemia is one of the best examples where immunotherapy has really changed the way we treat them and immunotherapy has very directed targeted therapies there are various immunotherapies available leukemias like bilintumumab like CAR T therapy and these are safer and more effective potent options and these are sometimes also may be required and may be given for some of the children now as I said, around 70 to 90 percent of the patients can be treated in one go, but there are some patients who may relapse, who may come back. In that, if the disease is coming back, leukemia is coming back, what we call as a relapse, the question sometimes comes to mind, is it still curable? Can we still cure it? And the answer to that is also yes. Although it's not a good thing to, for the leukemia to come back, you know, we have already gone through a few months of treatment and unfortunately if it comes back, it's not a good thing, but we can still hope for a cure. And patients who have relapsed, the leukemia has come back, we can still offer them um, treatment second time and they can be cured with, of course, with chemotherapy, bone marrow transplant, immun immunotherapy, which I was alluding to earlier on, they may also be given at the time of relapse and we can probably cure them. So friends, um, the, the message uh, which I wanted to convey today is that if one of the symptoms which, which I explained to you earlier if there's one of these symptoms, um, you need to, you know, see your pediatrician, get the checking done, and it may be a symptom of leukemia. Number two is that leukemia is highly curable in children, and please go and seek treatment, adequate, prompt, on-time treatment, 
which is which is chemotherapy, uh, bone marrow transplant sometimes, and immunotherapy. I'm also proud to announce that the immunotherapy, which is the CAR T therapy, which is which is one of the important treatments for available for this condition. We are one of the centers in India which has started this very early treatment for CAR T with these for the leukemia patients as well, and some of the patients who are not benefit of other treatments, they they can avail it from our center, and that's something new in India, and also uh, you know new for our patients from our part of the world. So with that, I I leave with those those messages. And I, I hope and I pray that every child who is diagnosed with leukemia gets um, the best of the care, what he deserves. And we also hope and pray that uh, none of our children uh, die due to this um, dreaded disease and we are able to conquer this completely in the next years to come. So thank you very much.